All right, guys. Name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, guys, I cannot believe I'm actually making this video this early. Uh, and what I mean by that is the fact that we actually have the potential system here on the global version of Dokkan Battle. So, guys, uh, I just made a video earlier this week where I used the JP version. Kind of thought it might be out on Monday of this week, but come to find out, it's, it's Thursday, which is like super random. Uh, and of course, by the time this is going up, it's for, it's on Friday, but. Uh, I had a lot of people ask me in my comment sections on tweets and stuff like that, and I'll make a video talking about it again. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to talk about dupe, the dupe system. We're going to reverse my Omega because I have three. I have three Omegas sitting on my account right now. I pulled four of him. I can't believe it. Anyways, uh, so we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to reverse him. We're going to go over actual paths. So actually, let's do that first. Um, so if you guys are just interested in seeing me do stuff in the orb system, you guys can skip ahead a bit. But we're going to actually hop into uh, our, our daily here on the strength section. Um, so let's just kind of scroll up here. So uh, as of right now, this is not a normal thing unless we're going to change it for global. Uh, basically on JP right now, uh, Monday is AGL, Tuesday is tech, Wednesday is intelligence, Thursday is strength, and Friday is fish, and you get to do it three times a day. Fizz. I feel like I almost said fish there. Uh, you get to do it three times a day. Uh, and I don't know if the drops are so good right now because it's just one time a day or what, but the drops are absolutely ridiculous. The login bonus right now is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and let's hop into this. Uh, obviously, I'm recording this after the the time clock, so uh, the time change, not the time change, but we 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 set forward. Already did it once earlier, uh, earlier in the day before everything kind of shifted forward. Let's see if we can find us an Omega. If we can't, I, it's not going to be that big of a deal. This isn't going to be that hard. Uh, I will just take a, uh, I'll just take a Gogeta lead with me. I'll try one more, uh, just so we can keep the flow of this video going pretty good. We're gonna, we're gonna find one, and let's go ahead. Let's pick some support items here. Uh, I just got transferred back to my tablet. I was on my, I was actually on my phone playing the game uh, throughout the day, and it was, I was like, all right, it's record time. Let's get back on the tablet. So there we go. No real reason to go over the team. These are fairly simple to do, uh, especially if you are running one of the the more god tier units. So here we go. Let's look. Did we get a drop at all? We did not. Now, there is the occasional time. My buddy at work, I think, was 5 for 5, where you'll get an occasional drop on the map where you'll see... Uh, I can't remember the exact... I think it's cooler on this one because of, of, of them. If you see cooler on this map, go for him because he's going to give you a ton of drops. Uh, but the main thing you're going to get from this one, this one right here, Zarbon, you're going to get a crap ton of small orbs. The main thing you're going to get from the middle lane is a crap ton of medium. And the main thing you're going to get from the, uh, the farthest right lane... Uh, is a crap ton of large now the thing it does here is they actually added an extra fight into this so uh, we're, we're gonna you're gonna see that in a second if you've been watching these for a while uh, for anyone that does the Japan version on YouTube you will have seen that uh, it's usually just a, a one-person fight and let's go ahead let's save our two we have here we're gonna go for Frieza we're gonna get some of the the large orbs but you actually fight two people and you get double drops you get double drops here. Like right now, if I was doing this on JP, I would get probably, uh, probably two drops of uh, two to four drops of the large, and that would be the only thing I would get. But I wouldn't have to fight cooler. But it's worth because wait until you see what happens here if you've not seen this yet. And again, I, so my apologies on being late on this. Uh, this was about as this was about as fast as I get this up. Uh, it kind of kind of sucked, but uh, hopefully you guys are still hopefully you guys are still enjoying this. Um, we shouldn't have to worry too much. We're, I mean, we're not going to take him out this first round. We don't have our hard hitters here. Uh, but still, I just wanted to include this because it was something I didn't include and I got a lot of questions about. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and include it in this video. So like I said, if this is something you guys aren't interested in, you can always skip forward just a bit once we actually hop into the dupe system, uh, reverse him and all that good stuff. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll take this time while they're fighting. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider that subscribe button. Uh, and, and guys, if you're if you're enjoying me making another video over this, consider that like button as well. So here we go. We can't we can't move any of our units. That's this that's what is uh, unique to this particular fight. We cannot move our units. Uh, we do just need like one key here. So I'll save those in case not in case we we probably will not be able to kill them here. Uh, but it won't be too terribly bad. I don't think <laughs> it shouldn't be. Actually, I don't know. My Gogeta should be able to do some pretty salty damage here. Four four and eleven thousand. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh. And yeah, he's gonna do some decent damage too. I might have underestimated him a little bit. Ah, just like a sliver of health. Okay, so it's over right here. Uh, so that's fine. It's over right here. These guys will for sure take them out. No question. 
Uh, I'm not really worried about blocking or anything. I mean, again, this is just it's such a, for the most part, basic fight. Yeah, 16,000. Sitting on 159,000 health. I'm not too worried. Uh, and then the cooler actually has a normal amount of health. He doesn't have anything crazy or ridiculous. Um, at first, when I saw that, I thought I was going to have to face two of them. I thought he was going to, like, roll down with the, uh, with the boss. So there you go. We got 100 of the small, 12 of the large. That does not happen on the JP version. So Global stepping up their game right now, guys. Global stepping up their game. Uh, then we're going to do the two here. Uh, also, it's worth noting that you're going to just get one through threes when you're on the stage. They are at least nice about that. Sixes and fours and fives and all that would really kind of mess you up. So uh, it is nice that they do stick with just one through three here. So now that we've done that, we're going to actually reverse the Omega. Uh, and we're going to hop into the uh, the dupe system. We're going to feed in some dupes. We're going to then bring him back to his TUR status. So I totally forgot that I didn't buy my gym or didn't buy my incredible hourglass first. So they do actually give you 30, 30 incredible gems. So we're going to purchase that right here, right now in the Baba shop under the treasure, treasure section, treasure section, guys, if I can talk, oh my gosh. Uh, then we will go back over to here, go to reverse this time for real, select this, select the unit we want to reverse. Uh, and then we're going to actually click on reverse here. It is going to bring him back into his normal, uh, his normal state before you dope on awaken him. Um, and I, and I, like I said, I'm sure by now a lot of people have seen how this works. Um, but I remember it being, you know, I think a big topic of, you know, how does this work? Do I need to get the medals again and so forth? So now we're going to go back here. We're going to go into the hidden potential system. Omega should be selected. Now I don't have him to super attack 10. Uh, and that's where some of our discussion is going to come in, come in today at is what one of these do you really want to do? Now, if you do how to play and you do, I believe it is. Is it growth categories? It is. So here's a good example. This is a great way to look at high growth. So if you're sitting, this is blocked by super attacks. As you move through it, you're going to need a higher and higher and higher super attack. You can't even actually get into this without at least a super attack too. If I remember, if I remember correctly, of how many times I've done this, I should. Uh, obviously, top right is for your offense. Top left is your balance, which is probably your best bet if you have a dupe. And bottom left is probably the last one you want to really, really worry about, which is HP and defense. Um, so. Because honestly, in this game, the best defense is a better offense. So uh, that's why I wanted to pull that up, just kind of look at that. If you have a Super Attack 10 or plan on ever making a unit Super Attack 10 and you have a dupe, this is your number one priority. Beyond that, you're going to want to go up here. And then beyond that, you're going to want to go here. And then this is probably the last the last one you're going to want to ever do. Um, so right now, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to back up. Uh, you can click these. These will actually... these will. Again, I, I've already I've already done this on the on the uh, on my my actual phone, but I'm just now doing this on the tablet recording for you guys. So you can skip all over the place if you want. Uh, it's not too difficult. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the bottom right here. Even though he is not super attack ten, it is completely and 100% worth to go ahead and do it uh, because I do have a duplicate of him. It's not the easiest thing to pull an Omega Shinron. I didn't actually pull one on the JP version on his actual banner, and then now you come over to Global and I pull four of them. It's ridiculous. Uh, so then we're going to actually do these two up here. I'm not going to worry too much about his defense because he's good. the thing about it is, is it shows that you're still going to gain a crazy amount of HP. You're still going to gain a crazy amount of defense and everything else from these others. So you don't have to worry about that bottom left. As far as your orbs go and as far as using your duplicates go, your best bet's going to be these. Now, if you do have a unit that you do not plan doing, getting to Super Attack 10, maybe... Maybe it's a it's a one off. For example, a really good unit that I don't. I, if I do ever get Super Attack 10, it will be a while. Is the GTU Super Saiyan 3 uh, Kid Goku? So now we're about to see this. Let's see. See, it's trying to tell me Super Attack must be level two or above to get into this. It's currently sitting at one, so I won't be able to go anywhere down here. However, you get so much stat gains from down here. Just even aside from talking about the fact that there are four separate uh, skills that you can actually obtain down here. So what we're going to focus on right now is we're going to actually go this way. Um, so this way right here is the best bet to use a dupe on if you do not plan on getting them to Super Attack 10. So I will hop into this. This is going to this is going to give me a ton of prompts because I've not actually done this on this tablet. Okay, guys. So uh, obviously we skipped ahead a bit there. I wanted to get farther into this, but then I remembered how slow this actually is on global. That is one definitely big downfall. I don't know if some app updates on JP have done something or what. Is definitely a lot faster on the JP version right now. I remember it was terribly slow when it first dropped, 
and you would literally be in here for 30 minutes just trying to get like 20% done. It was ridiculous. Uh, so that will probably get fixed. It's a lot faster on JP, so that will most likely get fixed on the global. However, uh, the thing I want to talk about before we wrapped up today's video was were these and 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 what should you do and everything else. Um, so dodge is almost a no go or evasion, uh, just because every time you put a a point into this, a level into this, it only goes up by one percent and it caps at twenty. So twenty percent evasion versus every time you put a point into this, it's two. So right now, I've already got a 6% chance to critical hit with Omega, and I've already got a 6% chance to combo attack. I like I like double attack better, but combo attack with Omega as well. Uh, this right here goes up by 5% every time, so there's a 10% uh, in boost on my... In there's a 10% attack boost on my, uh, on my strength versus Fizz. This goes up by 1% each time, which with a cap of 15. And both of these, uh, your super attack boost goes up by 5% each, so with a cap of 75. Or peeling recovery boost goes up by 5% as well. Um, and obviously, another thing I forgot to mention the last time is it has to match the same key type as your actual unit to get the or peeling effect. Um, so, as far as what should you put into, uh, your big two primary ones are going to obviously be, uh, as far as when you get to like this right here and you're supposed to, you need to choose, are going to be between crit and uh, an additional attack. I can't really see too many reasons to honestly do evasion. Um, I've had this discussion many times with a couple of the other guys in the community, and it seems like um, D Free has a, a video over this, a quick one, but showing uh, Blue Vegito dodging. And Blue Vegito's dodge is pretty awesome, but of course we don't have Blue Vegito here, which for those that have been asking, I assume it will be early April, late May, uh, because this, this actually released after that uh, on JP, but Anyways, guys, so my suggestion to you guys is go for either combo or go for crit whenever you get to there. Stay away from evasion. Uh, one of the biggest things here is I have crit on my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'd much rather have a higher crit because I can one-shot just about any boss. And I, not just about. If he gets a crit off, he's one-shotting any boss. It's ridiculous. So you might as well just go with crit it, crit or combo attack. Uh, I, I say combo attack is still good on Super Saiyan 4 Goku because it helps build up his... Uh, his defense because every time he super attacks he increases his defense so the more you, the more you super attack the more you're going to increase that and you're going to get to that cap earlier but uh that's kind of my vouch for him so that's that's my suggestion i personally stay away from evasion for the most part and it's worked out pretty well for me um so that's my suggestions on potential system that's kind of my overview on that we reversed him uh let's go ahead let's actually get him back uh back into his normal state we'll select that we'll select that reverse dokkan awaken and boom, we've got our Omega Shenron back to normal. Now with three other Omegas in on his dupe system, which is pretty awesome. I'm still probably going to call it dupe system a lot. Hidden potential activation system is a little long. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like just calling it the dupe system. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Like I said in the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it you know, helpful or at least enjoyable to some extent, consider the like button as well. Otherwise, you guys have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on Nanogenics here. Signing off. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.